Hi everybody, it's Rich here from Bring About Wargaming. Uh, by now I'd hoped to have uploaded a battle report. Uh, Jason and I went to film one on Friday as our goodbye to 8th. Cracking armies, the pair of us as well. Uh, just as we had set up, uh, there was a, an emergency in, and one of us had to shoot off, uh, so we couldn't do it. So what I'd do, just keep the um, channel ticking over, so to speak, is I thought I'd do a short video. Um, Jason and I got this plan of possibly buying uh, starter sets and using them to fight against each other, but it's something we're going to look into. And what I thought I'd do is I'd use this opportunity to force me to get some painting done, because I have to be one of these slowest painters going. Um, I'm just finishing off a Blood Bowl team. Um, I've still got two throws to do, and I started that back in December. Well, it was a Christmas present, so you can see how long it's taken so far. So what I thought I'd do is I'd show, I'd do an unboxing that I see a lot of people doing, and this is genuine unboxing. Uh, I'll show you what I've got and what's going to be my new Aldari army for the uh, 40k. Okay, now I'm going to have an assistant doing the filming over my shoulder, which is my daughter because she's desperate to get involved. Um, so we'll see how the camera work goes and... Uh, we're, I'm going to do a little bit of an evolution of the models and uh, see how this turns out. Okay, so we're going to go down, look at the models. Okay, so I thought I'd do this first. Um, got a Wraith Lord here, or in the early days it was a Dreadnought. Um, and this was a War Cry. Sorry, War Cry. War Demon Dreadnought. And um, just had Shuriken catapults, and that was it. And what they did do in the Banshee version, back in White Dwarf 100, show me age now, is that a little fixture here, which the arm would go into the lower socket, and then a weapon, which was generally a missile launcher, would go in there. Well, Jez Goodwin evolved that and incorporated the weapon mount into here. And you can see over time that this Wraith Lord has done a bit more work out on his forearms and definitely covered some shoulder work there. So why am I showing you these? Because the next Eldari army I'm going to be doing is going to be a spirit host army, which means I need to bring this box set. I actually haven't opened this yet, and I've got three of these, and I bought these at the start of 8th when I bought the rules. Look, they're still showing, I don't know if you can see that, £50. Um, so there's the Ray Lord now. On top of that, to really show my age, we'll move them across. You used to have these little things were called Ghost Warriors, and this is one of my favorites. And a shuriken catapult in its head and two power fists. And uh, this hasn't been painted since I originally had it back in uh, oh god. 1994 maybe 93 i know the second edition coder has come out in 94 they evolved into these and these probably are going to be one of my favorite uh units i do like the wraith guard um heavy though because it's all metal and very static in its pose um but the trouble with metal ones as you can see i don't know if i can focus in on that is a uh chip and these models haven't been painted for ooh, 20 odd years. And then of course, in this pack, you've got a war walker. Now I've got to be honest, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to even bother painting the war walker. It's not bad, but for nostalgia reasons, I still use the original and I know uh, with our 140k battle that we put up there was a lot of uh, nostalgia for the old old hammer as they call it now models and I grew up with these and when these first came out they were amazing so much so I am a bad painter for time because I still got that second edition out of War Walker, in fact, let's open it up. The 
See, it's still, I don't know if you can see that, it's still there. Oh, yeah. oh what's oh, God, I even forgot I had that. It's a jet bike. Oh, okay. I know rider. Um, but look, I've still got the tabs. Still got the tabs on them. And I didn't even know, or completely forgot, I had the little transfer. Still with a square base. So that, uh, I think what put me off is, no disrespect to Jess Goodwin, is I'm not 100% enamoured with the Pilot. I don't, I don't like it. I preferred the Pilot there for some reason. Uh, but there you go. So I'm not 100% sure I will bother painting the, uh, the uh, wall walkers in these sets. I'm going to have to wait and see. I might, I might do it as a different, different force. So let's have a look what we got here. Oh, every end, every fist did there. Oh God, look at me. All right. I do like the Farseer model. Now, of course, I'm old hammer. And I like the old pointing farce here, which you would have seen in the uh, first battle report. 2000, I don't know if you can see that. 2017. <laughs> right. So, wow. See, I must admit, I do like the new Rafe Lord model. Oh, look at, oh my God, look at all these bits. And I might actually, for the first time ever, uh, magnetise. And, and get all the weapon options going because I tend to field my Wraith Lords like the war cry and I tend to have them were you, were you even recording? yes but... so sorry we had a technical problem there um, hopefully this is working so I, I normally field my Wraith Lords like that running up the field and ready to punch the enemy's face in so I might have mine stood there with um, just fists like I don't know if you can hold me on that one. That one there. So I might go for that. And then I could always magnetise to, to do that. Not 100% sure. But they do look like cracking models. I've got to be honest. But again, I'm not I'm not enamoured with the wall walker. I, the, the, the Wraith Guard. I do like them with the axes. They just look so mean. Um, so in my army, I've got five of them. And then I will be doing, uh, I'm not going for the blades, I'm not, not too, not too fussed about the blades, but I am going to be going for um, the uh, Wraith Cannon, which will be that one there. I'm not going to bother with doing the uh, scythe, I'm not too fussed about that. Yeah, there you go. So I'll be doing, I've got 10 of them to do, and I'll have five with the axes and then I'm also gonna have the farseer as well. Let's have a look. Let's see how they've evolved. Okay, that's a leg. Well, it's not too bad. The legs are about the same same size. They look just more meatier as a model. Okay. Two bases. Oh, there's the farseer. See I do like the scenic bases. And that's not what people call fail cast, and so that's not too bad. I don't know what that's doing in there. Uh, so that's more Wraith Guard. Oh, Wraith Lord. Wow. Well, that's his leg. Hang on. Let's have a look. See how much they've changed. Again, not, not too much, you know, height wise, but they look meatier. They do look like meatier legs. And the hands, well, the hands aren't, you know, the hands aren't really that much different. Oh, these should be fun to, fun to paint. And the feet, well, they've got toes now. The feet look different. And, of course, they've got all the weapon options as well, which is good. And, of course, we've got the wall walker underneath there as well. Now, the other thing is, is I'll just put this to one side. I managed to go up to Warhammer World on my 40th 
and I bought something. And I'm 48 now. I bought that at the end of 7th edition, the Wraith Knight. And I've not even used it. <laughs> I've not even used it for 8th and it's now 9th. So hopefully this is going to force me for the channel to um, get it painted. I know a lot of people moaning. Let's open this up. I know a lot of people are moaning that it's not uh, competitive, but thankfully, Jason and myself don't really go for competitive armies. So, oh, this is going to take forever. Um, I have paid the points. I mean, I do like I do like the sword and the the force shield. That looks quite cool. But I have paid the points for the two heavy wraith cannons because I want this thing stood there just pumping out loads of shots and blowing up tanks. Because Jace does like to field his tanks, especially with his death guard. And I need to be able to override or overpower that feel no pain or that disgusting resilience and blow vehicles up. So how big are these? Oh, there you go. Look at that. Good God, that's a... Is that a leg? That's a leg. Oh, wow. Look how tall this is going to be. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, got me work out now. There's his head. Well, the head's not... Mm, got that? That's not too bad. So that's the plan. So now I've shown you this. I kind of really oh, look at the size of the guns. I've got to really uh, get on with it and get this all painted now. So I've, I've really shot myself in the foot. So that's the plan: is to have a well, an old eighth edition. It was fifteen hundred points. So we've worked out to roughly be about one thousand seven hundred. So. I'm going to do a whole new spirit host army. Jeez. Whole new spirit host army um, in the purple, like you've seen. I'll probably just do what I've done here for quickness. Do it purple, dry brush it with various shades. I might try a little bit of edge highlighting. I'm not the greatest painter in the world, uh, as you can see. But there you go. So fingers crossed. I'll uh, do a short video with some updates later on. Well, up until then, thank you very much. Right, so that, that's what hopefully we're going to do. Hopefully the camera work wasn't too uh, shaky. Bless her. Thank you, my darling. Um, so don't forget, obviously, if you want to subscribe to follow what I'm going to do with this army, that's great. If you like what we're doing, please share it. If you don't, then tell us. Um, and just, yeah, like and subscribe. And leave a comment. That's, that's always good. We do love the comments. So um, until next time, fingers crossed, it will be a battle report. We'll see you soon. From myself and Jace at Bring and Battle Wargaming, thank you.